state house eliminated that state tax on your cell bill and hold the phone. They did it unanimously. The yeas are 203, the nays are zero. The savings for the average consumer, not zero, but not much. And I'm hopeful that the $12 that people will get uh, over the next year will be of great use to them. One day later, phone bills were again the focus. One bill would increase the 911 emergency call fee by 32 cents, from $1.65 to $1.97 per month. Counties have complained the fees aren't covering their 911 service costs, which their taxpayers are then forced to pay for. A second bill would create a new six cents a month fee to support the 988 suicide hotline. It hopes to generate $5 million. Opponents don't like that it would build in automatic increases adjusted for inflation. It completely takes away this body's ability to monitor, to provide oversight, and provide justification for funding uh, moving forward. This gives one agency a blank check. One of the things that citizens don't need is another tax that doesn't sunset, that automatically increases, that this legislative body has no oversight over. Stephen Kinsey sponsored the bill, which passed. Well, if folks here in this august body believes that six cents per month is too much to save a life, then I think that you need to go back to the folks who sent you here and let them know that their lives are not worth six cents per month. It's now on to the Senate. Majority Leader Joe Pittman was asked this week about eliminating one tax but adding new fees. Well, I'm afraid that that was perhaps a little bit of a shell game, at least in mind. And I don't think that that's in our best interest to go down that path. In removing the state taxes from cell phones, lawmakers basically said these are no longer a luxury item and put them in the same category as food and clothes, which are also not taxed in PA. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.